What do you call a lake with no water? A hole. Come on, come on, come on. So, and that's kind of what we have now over there, huh? Is a hole. How many of you guys are old enough to remember the lake was like really full? Does everybody remember that? So, what did you guys do when the lake was really full? What did you like the lake? Just tell me. I don't need the hands. Shout it out, girls. Fishing, fishing. Well, we want to get back to that. And there's lots of ways we can get back to that. And we'll be building new playgrounds. We'll be building new athletic fields. There'll be new bathrooms. There'll be new parking. All those things, and, and all those things we want to know what you guys want. What is it that you guys want us to put in the park? So we will be rebuilding the baseball field. Maybe we'll be building a soccer field. We also are going to build a railroad crossing across the lake, across the railroad track, so you guys don't have to walk around anymore. This is all part of a plan, and those things all came from grants that the committee and volunteers in your community wrote. So it is important to get your feedback. What do you guys want? What do you guys want to see? What's important to you? The lake essentially is dry and will dispel. There is no hole in the lake. All lakes leak water. They have what's called seepage. And the reason is most lakes have what a clay bottom. They have bottom that's full of clay. So, so the lake has a clay bowl in it, okay? Well, around the sides of the lake, what's around the sides of the lake? What do you stand on? Well, what's the shore made of, you think? Sand. sand. That's right, sand. When the lake gets more full, water seeps out the sides. So the idea here and what's been going on this, this last year is we've been putting little wells in the lake to find out what's underneath. And by having the lake bed dry, we're actually able to go to the middle and drill little holes in it that do not break the clay layer, but they're little holes and, they, and we've monitored the water levels on the lake. So now instead of people thinking they know what's underneath the lake, we know what's underneath the lake. We know how deep the lake should be. We know where the clay liner is. We know where the sand is. So this winter, what's going to happen here is we are going to take the north side of the lake where the puddles are now, Okay, where the puddles are now, and we're going to scrape off that whole top part of the north part of the lake, and we're going to expose water. So by the end of this winter, by next spring, you'll have half of the lake back. Now, there are other things that we need to do here, and we need to find ways to put, add water to the lake. And there is a big, ugly lawsuit going on right now about how Palmer Lake used to put water in the lake, and that we don't really need to talk about. Where do you guys think the water went? Come on. And the air is right. It evaporated. it evaporated. That's right. Okay. So what happens is the lake loses a little bit of water every year. So maybe you lose a foot of water a year, and the next year you lose a foot of water, and the next year you lose a foot of water, and then the lake eventually goes away because there's no water going into the lake because things have been stopped from putting water in the lake. So what the committee, what the group is doing is finding ways to put water back in the lake and then maintain the water in the lake. So that's what it is we're trying to do. So this is what we're going to do. All right, you guys? Hang on. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to restore Palmer Lake's water rights, which come from the reservoir. Somebody mentioned the reservoir. We have a lot of water up there. Where does Monument Creek water go? Do you guys know? Uh, no. Monument, Monument Lake. Lake, okay. And, this, and it starts up here at the mountain, and then the water from snow melts into the reservoirs, and then it goes down Monument Creek, and it goes to Monument. But that's only some of the water. The other water from, from the reservoirs and up on the mountains right up here goes underground to Palmer Lake. Back when the lake was first formed, all the water from all the hills drained into the lake because it's the low spot in town. But when you start building houses and roads and stuff, that diverts where the water wants to go. Water, if, if you see when a rainstorm goes, it goes down to a road and then it's kind of redirected. So there is not a lot of water that actually falls into the lake, just what actually falls on the surface. And the lake bed is very dry now, so the lake bed absorbs a lot of the water. So that's why rain itself cannot fill the lake. There is a lake fundraiser coming up called the Haunted Hayride. Do you guys like, like scary stuff? Okay. Yeah, well, I should have started with that, huh? So... The, the Haunted Hayride is on Halloween night, so when you're done trick-or-treating or you got all the candy you can stand, come on over. It's a cu cool little hayride. It's a cool little hayride, and it rides around the lake, and it's not very much money. I will drop you off some coupons here at the school so you guys can go if you want. It is a, it is a little scary. So, All right. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, thanks. <laughs>